the Willis Jazz Band is under the direction of Mr. John Stadzinski, been known for their prestigious awards throughout the past several years. They have been featured ensemble at the annual Arizona Music Education Conference four times in the past 10 years. They were selected to perform nationally at the Midwest Clinic in Chicago in 2009, the Jazz Educators Network in Louisville in as recently as 2016. For both these events, there's only one junior high jazz band selected internationally to perform for thousands of music educators and performers. Now I'll ask you to please rise for the presentation of colors by the Basha High School Air Force Junior ROTC and remain standing while Michael Contreras of Encore Choir from Castile High School sings our national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? Or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, Say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? Or the land of the free and the home of the Let's hear it for the Basha ROTC under the direction. <laughs> under the direction of Colonel Clifford Stansel and Master Sergeant Michael Cole. And what a talented vocalist, Michael Contreras. My goodness. Gave me goosebumps. Could you imagine it uh, being a junior in high school and, and singing before a thousand people like this and knocking it out of the park? Michael, we're so proud of you. I'm Terry Locke, and I want to welcome all of you to the District Night of Recognition. Just a real exciting night for us. Assisting will be our governing board. Um, it is my pleasure to bring you to them at this time. Our president is Annette Oxier, Vice President Karen McGee, come on up on stage. David Evans, Barbara Mosden, and Bob Rice. This is a tremendous board we have, and I don't know if you know this, but they pay, they, they serve unpaid. They're not paid for their duties, and they serve four-year terms and collectively have about 60 years of experience uh, leading this district, and what a great job they're doing. Um, 
Also, uh, we have such great visionaries in Chandler Unified. Our superintendent is Dr. Camille Castile. Dr. Castile, if you'll join us. This is her 47th year in Chandler Unified, beginning as a first grade teacher and serving the last 22 years as superintendent. Um, without further ado, we're going to get started. Now, I know the program looks really long, but we have a system. We're going to move through it pretty quickly. Uh, Kimberly and Jeff, if you'll wave, we're going to have all of us kids, the students first, line up in front of Kimberly. We're going to do it alphabetical by school. So like here in Holmes of Anderson Elementary, they're going to help line you up. You'll come across the stage, shake the board's hand and the superintendent's hand, get your certificates, and then uh, go down here and get a photograph with Ernest to my right and to your left, and you can go back to, this, to your seats. And then parents, this night's about everyone. So come on up to the stage, get a picture of your kids when they're up there. So let's make the most of tonight, okay? All the students come forward over to meet Kimberly, the front set. While our students are coming down, I would like to take a minute to invite all of you to go to our website. Every year we, we have what's called an annual report. We have a print version and a film version. If you go to our website, you can see our um, film version, which is a terrific representation of the great things that we're doing to become the best school district in the nation. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Annette Oxier. By the way, Annette Oxier is the longest standing uh, board member in CUSD history, going on 20 years. Okay, uh, Kieran uh, Holmes, you can come up to the stage. Kieran Holmes from Anderson Elementary, come join us. Kieran is a fifth grade honor roll student, a member of various clubs such as Student Lighthouse Team, New Generation of Gentlemen in Choir. He strives to give everything he's got to make the school better, to help others, and to accomplish his own academic goals. He is a model student in every way. <laughs> Hannah Shambaugh from Oxier Elementary. Hannah serves as student council vice president and is active member of the assembly team, Battle of the Books, Bok Tops, Newspaper Club, Library Leaders, and Heart and Soul. Not only is Hannah active in many clubs at Oxier, she's also a dedicated and hardworking student who will take on any challenge set before her. <laughs> Max Vogus could not be here tonight from Basha High School. Next we have uh, Jaxi Barbie from uh, Bologna Elementary. Jaxi, come up. Jaxi is one of the kindest students you'll ever meet. She continuously compliments teachers, peers, etc., and is always a good friend to everyone. She's the first person to go when someone needs a good friend and is also the shiny example used when a student needs a reminder of what they should be doing. Jaxi, congratulations. Lincoln Chapman from Carlson Elementary. Lincoln is a role model at Carlson. He has a strong sense of citizenship for his school and his country. He's always representing Carlson, its students, his community with utmost pride. He not only serves on the flag crew, but also recruited the crew's other members and brings his enthusiasm and pride to the job each and every morning and afternoon. Next is Mia Espinosa Hernandez from Conley Elementary. Mia's leadership qualities are evident every day and second to none. Mia is president of the Conley Student Council. Her organizational skills and her calm and capable demeanor are just the qualities that ensure efficient and productive student council meetings. She sets the example for focus and discipline. Her work ethic is admirable. Hayden Hurley from CTA Freedom. Now Hayden is one of the kindest, caring, and considerate sixth grade students. He's an exemplary leader in and out of the classroom by taking his time to help and assist peers without being asked. 
Hayden is a student who goes above and beyond what is asked and expected of him. He's a great friend to all and a sets an example of what his classmates should be doing. <laughs> Drew Balsius from CTA Goodman. Now Drew works diligently on his assignments and his regularly challenges himself academically as he perseveres to understand higher level math concepts. Drew has a level of compassion that extends to those students who are new to the school. He took the initiative to befriend a new student from another country. He provided guidance and support that displayed his leadership and kind-heartedness. Colton Swanson from CTA Humphrey. Now, Colton's a hardworking and respectable student who gives 100% in everything he does. He can always be counted on to participate in class, and he continuously models appropriate behaviors. Colton is enthusiastic about learning and completes anything he is asked to do with a smile on his face. <laughs> Kara Meddy from CTA Independence. Kara, come up. In addition to being a top academic achiever, Kira is repeatedly selected for leadership and ambassador opportunities, which display the very best uh, CTA has to offer. She's striving to earn the Principal's Excellent Award, a member of the Principal's Action Council, National Elementary Society, and gives tours to new students and campus visitors. Jay Skiles from CTA Liberty. Sixth grade teachers at CTA Liberty have seen Jay rise from the level of shy student to one of the most positive mentoring and great leader. As a distinguished honor roll student, Jay works well with his peers and demonstrates what staff wants for all students, confidence, perseverance, and compassion. <laughs> Emma Wamarama from Elite Performance Academy. Emma, come up. Emma's an exceptional student who displays a positive attitude to everyone she meets. She participates in the classroom with discussions and group work. Staff at Elite feel blessed to have Emma at the school and state, it's so wonderful to have such a gifted student at our school. <laughs> Taisha Reitman from Fry Elementary. Taisha, come on up. Taisha goes above and beyond in everything she does, from her development of strong essays and complex mathematics calculations to wanting to start and head a recycling club at school. Taisha is always looking for ways to better herself and be a leader. In addition, she also participates in many extracurricular activities like basketball, soccer, and choir. <laughs> Stephanie Lee from Fulton Elementary. Now, Stephanie is the definition of a leader. She works hard, treats all of her teachers and peers with respect, is always ready to help when asked, works well with everyone, and knows what it takes to get the job done. Stephanie is not just a great role model to her peers, but she's also a loyal and amazing friend to many. <laughs> Nancy Esquivel from Galveston Elementary. Now, Nancy was elected as Vice President of Student Council this year and is serving time with passion and great dedication. As Vice President, she represents the school with dignity and grace. She's always a willing participant to help those who were in need of additional help. Nancy is in the Battle of the Books, Running Club, and the Galveston Girls Soccer Team. Jack Barkett from Haley Elementary. Jack is an exceptional young man. He shows leadership skills well beyond his years. Jack is kind, respectful, and a leader to other students. Jack goes above and beyond in academics and can always be counted on to do the right thing. He helps students who are choosing to make poor choices make better ones. Congratulations. <laughs> Kemi Whitesides from Hancock Elementary. <laughs> Kemi is very positive, hardworking, and outgoing. She is involved in pretty much every school club offered. Cammie's kindness shines even outside of a school. One of the examples of her generosity is Cammie's commitment to volunteering for Feed My Starving Children. <laughs> David Tejeda from Hartford, Sylvia and Cenas. David's a wonderful, well-rounded sixth grader at Hartford. 
David works hard and has a terrific attitude at school. He's responsible, always putting his schoolwork first, and the effort he puts into assignment shows that he strives to do the very best he can do. He's also a member of the Mariachi Club, where he plays the guitar. Yeah. Ella Malie from Hull Elementary. Ella shows respect not only to the teachers of Hull, but to her classmates as well. She recognizes when someone is in need of a friend and supports her peers, giving compliments willingly and shares materials with those who need them. Congratulations. <laughs> Megan Burke from Jacobson Elementary. <laughs> Megan has found time to just about every student volunteer position available at school. She's dedicated herself in numerous ways, including student council, flag corps, safety patrol, and the new, school's newly installed recycling green team. She's been a contributor to many community projects as well and supported Amy's animal rescue. <laughs> Langley Bradbeer from Knox Gifted Academy. What matters most to Langley is people. She shapes the attitudes of those around her in the most positive way on a daily basis. Academically, Langley makes powerful personal connections to her work and strives to uncover meaning in why things work the way they do. Congratulations. <laughs> Ryan Randall from Navarrete Elementary. So listen to this. Since the day that Ryan found out he had leukemia, he has been, hasn't been the same. In fact, he's been better. That day changed something in Ryan. He became a fighter and a hero to everyone around him. Over the last year, Ryan's underwent ex in intensive chemotherapy, radiation, doctor visits, you name it, hospital stays. And this incredible young man has worked harder than any student his age to not only fight this cancer spreading throughout his body, but to stay up with his schoolwork. He's just a role model to all of us. We really appreciate it. Nabia Joseph from Patterson Elementary. Is Nabia with us? Okay, if we get Nabia later, we'll have her up. How about Peyton Fiscalini from Riggs Elementary? Respectful, honest, caring, and hardworking are a few traits that Peyton Fiscalini displays each day at Riggs. She participates in class, completes her homework in a timely manner, and puts forth effort in everything she does. Peyton is respectful to her teachers and fellow classmates and is always willing to lend a helping hand. Thank you. I think we have Nabia Joseph. Come on up. Come on up, sweetie. Now, Nabia's response to those in need seems to be reflexive. She automatically jumps up to help others. Because of her example, her classroom is a happier place. Her giving nature is truly appreciated, and Nabia's peers trust her and know that they can count on her. She can also demonstrate trustworthiness and responsibility. She is an example of what Patterson stands for, helping others to be the best they can be. She's awesome. Beckham Davis from Ryan Elementary. Beckham is the perfect recipient because he, of outstanding leadership skills around Ryan campus. Beckham is a part of the technology team that helps set up the computer lab every morning as well as the safety squad. Jackson Buck from Sanborn Elementary. Jackson is a dependable student who follows through with what he says he's going to do. He's a student who greets everyone every morning with a smile on his face and a, well, a warm hello or good morning. He is very conscientious of his choices and the impact they will have on him and others. He's open-minded and compassionate to others' views and ideas. <laughs> Esmeralda Rodriguez from San Marcos Elementary. Esmeralda Rodriguez is the type of student every teacher dreams of having in her class. 
All of the other students enjoy being around her because of her accepting personality. Esmeralda is a vital part of the San Marcos KSMB t uh, news team. And without a doubt, she's going to grow up to be an integral part of the community. <laughs> Taylor Hahn from Santan Elementary. Taylor's a perfect example of someone who possesses excellent character as it is evident in her work ethic, positive attitude, and her thoughtful and caring treatment of her peers and teachers. Not only is she a great role model to her peers, she's academically driven in the classroom. Next is Jaden Avina from Shumway Leadership Academy. Jaden is a member of the Student Lighthouse Team, which is a student club on campus that pairs with Stephen Covey's Leader in Me program. Jaden has contributed to the community by raising money for UNICEF, collecting coins for Hurricane Harvey victims, and designing the school window painting mural, and recycling plastic bags for the Bench the Bag program. Congratulations, Jaden. I believe I'm calling up a... Yeah, there you go. Gotta get that picture from mom. I believe I'm calling up Mia Espinosa. Is that right, Hernandez? Okay. From Conley Elementary? <laughs> Mia's leadership qualities are evident every day and second to none. Mia is president of the Conley Student Council. Her organizational skills and her calm and capable demeanor are just the qualities that ensure efficient, productive student council meetings. She sets the example for focus and discipline. Her work ethic is admirable and her behavior is impeccable. Congratulations. <laughs> Sophia Noriega from Tarwater Elementary. Sophia sees the need and fills the need, whether it is by volunteering to walk kindergartners to the bus, packing food for needy children, or staying after school to serve as a part of the Random Acts of Kindness Club, to name a few. Sophia is involved in student council, band, running club, safety patrol, drum club, and serves as an office intern at the school. Allison Baldy from Weinberg Elementary. Some of the words that describe Allison are hardworking, humble, and helpful. She's involved in 4-H where she raises and shows chickens and bunnies at county and state fairs. This means she has a huge commitment to her animals before and after school, but she never lets that get in the way of her great schoolwork. <laughs> Moving along to our secondary schools, uh, Gideon Bilach from Anderson Junior High. In addition to being National Junior Honor Society President, he leads his fellow uh, members in community service. He's a leader in the classroom as well, and Gideon's duties as a president include organizing and leading bi-weekly meetings, fundraisers, Red Ribbon Week, and most recently, a toiletry drive for the Chandler Care Center. <laughs> Nolan Burke from Bogle Junior High. Nolan is always positive and willing to help a classmate or a teacher. He is a member of student council and trying to run for office in the math club. Nolan repeatedly earns all A's, even taking Algebra II honors, high school math in year three. He consistently strives for excellence and maintains a happy, optimistic demeanor. Congratulations. <laughs> Mally Chala from Payne Junior High School. Maylee is one of the kindest students you'll ever meet. And here's an example. She has reached out and made a huge difference in the life of a struggling student in one of her classes. She is also involved in Panther Pals as president and is an excellent student and wonderful person to be around. <laughs> Natalie Baldwin from Santan Junior High. <laughs> Natalie serves as Santan's Junior Honor Society president and leads more than 100 students in the club. Natalie is also involved in her church youth group and does more than 22 hours of dance a week. This semester, Natalie started a committee to work as a, on a teddy bear collection drive to give a teddy bear to every child at Phoenix Children's Hospital. Wow. <laughs> Brian Mendoza Ramos from Willis Junior High. 
Brian moved to the United States from Mexico two years ago. His impressive achievement in a short time, including testing out of the English language learner program in just one year, earned him recognition as an ELL student success story by the Arizona Department of Education. He volunteers a lot, coming in uh, an hour before early, before school to help other students, and is also a classroom math tutor. What a great kid. A Berinda Bonarji from uh, ACP Erie. Berinda is one of the most exceptional students. He dedicates an incredible amount of time and leadership skills to the school's award-winning robotics team to ensure their continued innovation and success on an international level. Congratulations. <laughs> Carrie Chen from Arizona College Prep Oakland campus. Not only is Carrie an exemplary student, but actively involved in many clubs and activities that emphasize responsibility and community, including the Hartford Tutoring Club, National Junior Honor Society, and mentoring other nights during academic lab. <laughs> Keegan Grau from Basha Accelerated Middle School. <laughs> Keegan always goes the extra mile and never expects anything in return. He's the student body president, member of the National Junior Honor Society, president of Running Club, a regular peer tutor, and likely in involved in much, much more. He treats students and teachers with res incredible respect and is always a positive voice in the room. Congratulations. <laughs> Samantha Borges Eckert from Chandler Early College. Samantha exemplifies what it means to be a Chandler Early College high school student. She devotes herself to her academic endeavors and encourages those around her to do the same. Uh, Sammy is also patient and courteous and has a never-ending supply of compassion for those around her. Now, I believe, is Devin Faulkner backstage? Do we have Devin? Devin's in a wheelchair. Do we have Devin backstage? Yes, indeed. Excellent. Devin is a kind and hardworking young lady who struggles with a chronic illness that oftentimes has her hospitalized several days a week. Devin works tirely to manage her health care along with her academics and succeeds despite incredible obstacles she has to overcome. When her illness requires an extended hospital stay, Devin is in contact with her teachers coming up with a plan to get her work done in a timely manner. This grit and determination will serve her well throughout her life. Devin, we're honored to recognize you tonight. Mark Jacobo from Hill Learning Academy. Is Mark here from Hill? Nope. Okay, uh, Caitlin Personale from uh, Basha High. <laughs> Caitlin is always ready to step up where she's needed. She goes out of the way to include others and promote diversity. She's a prime example of benevolence. And as a leader, she shows respect for all groups, clubs, and teams, and spends tireless hours working and supporting events and activities. She has a drive to instill a love of Basha High School and the community and others. Congratulations. Samuel Perez from Castile High School. Not only does Sam have an amazing work ethic, he also has an incredible desire to learn. Sam applied for the ACE program last year and was chosen. Since then, he's taken several college classes on his own time during the weekends in order to be a part of this program. He's helpful, kind, and a true leader at Castile High. <laughs> Janet Contreras from Chandler High School. Janet is a peer facilitator in a self-contained special education classroom for students with moderate intellectual disabilities. From the first day that Janet started in the classroom, she immediately gained a bond with these students and saw them as her peers and not students with disabilities. She always comes up with fun ways to help the students with a concept that they may not understand. Congratulations. Okay, Gregory Miller from Hamilton High School. Greg is an avid mentor. He also goes above and beyond to mentor students, tutors them, and genuinely interested in them. He helped raise money for a fundraiser for a Houston school adopted by avid student after that terrible hurricane. Greg competes in speech and debate as well as being a captain. 
Uh, he participates in cross country. His determination and kindness is what makes Greg, uh, Greg stand out as a student at Hamilton High School. And get this, Greg's gonna come back up as a volunteer next. That's never happened in CUSD. He's gonna be recognized as a student and in a few minutes as a volunteer. Sydney Hinkle from Perry High School. Sydney is a 100% determined student at Perry. She goes out of her way to make sure everyone else's needs are taken care of before her own. Sydney was the hostess of the Thanksgiving brunch given for the principal and special education staff. And Cindy is involved in theater, drama club, and has sung in the Perry Choir. How about one more round of applause for all those fantastic students? We know behind every successful student is a supportive family. Hey, would all the moms and dads and grandparents, would you all please stand so we can give you a round of applause as well? Please stand. Also want the kids to know that if you want to open your frame on your certificate, there's actually a little bit more text back there. We don't have enough time. We could be here for three hours reading. So there's a little bit more information if you want to un, uh, unhinge the uh, frame and read that. So, And your pictures that are taken tonight are going to end up on the district office wall. We're going to put you up there and make you famous. So that's why we have that as well. So we got through the students. They did it perfectly. Can the volunteers follow what the kids did and line up with uh, on the far left? This chance I get an opportunity to introduce. This time while they're lining up, I want to introduce to you our assistant superintendents. Dr. Matt Strom, would you wave? Matt, uh, Frank Narducci. Uh, Frank Fletcher, assistant superintendent, and our CFO, Lana Berry. They're all helping out tonight at the stairway. And Dr. Craig Gilbert is hiding from me over there in the corner. He's in charge of our secondary schools. Now we understand that Jennifer Luke will not be here, so our first volunteer is gonna be Cosette Fox of uh, Oxier Elementary, so you can come up. Cosette can be counted on to help with any task. The students love when she arrives to teach Art Masterpiece because she makes the lesson so fun. She's volunteered to help students in every classroom create a heartfelt memory book for the teacher during Teacher Appreciation Week. She is so kind and patient and makes all children feel special. <laughs> Kelly Dwyer from Basha Elementary. Kelly has served on many BASHA committees, such as the State Council and PTO, where she is currently co-president. Through her years of experience as member and leader of PTO, BASHA students have reaped the benefits of countless volunteer hours that have positively impacted the community. <laughs> Christina Torres from Bologna Elementary. Is Christina here? Christina Torres? Okay. Next will be uh, Swate Narain from uh, Carlson Elementary. Swate here. She's an outstanding volunteer in the Carlson Library. Dependable and responsible, she helps with every task as well as taking on big projects like color coding and labeling the entire book collection for the Accelerated Reader Program and updating student pictures for the Accelerated Reader Bulletin Board. Nicole McCabe from Conley Elementary. Nicole became PTO co-secretary in 2013 and halfway through that first year, she took on the position of president. Nicole puts in countless hours of planning and preparing for activities such as family movie night, family game nights, bingo night, boosterthon, and other major fundraisers. <laughs> Renee Keene from CTA Freedom. Renee is a wonderful asset to CTA Freedom. She's 100% involved in all of her children's lives and volunteers in the classroom, school-wide events and functions. 
She's always smiling and happy to help in whatever way she is able. She has a positive disposition that is contagious. <laughs> Megan Lebsack from CTA Goodman. Megan provides support in many ways, from volunteering in the classroom to making copies for teachers and assisting with events and projects on campus. She offered many volunteer hours for the annual Veterans Day celebration, organizing and hanging artwork throughout the campus. <laughs> Ricardo Felix from CTA Humphrey. Ricardo's here. Ricardo volunteers every week at CTA Humphrey, doing whatever is requested of him. He put on the Veterans Day assembly and is also a huge help getting pictures taken at special events like the perfect attendance winners and the Hall of Fame nominations at the school awards assembly. <laughs> Heather Shank from CTA Independence. <laughs> Heather has been a dedicated parent volunteer and PTO member at CTA Independence for the last seven years, serving as PTO treasurer for six of those years. In this role, she has ensured accountability for all funds and expenses down to the very last penny. It's going to make Lana Berry feel good as our CFO, right? In order to make a tremendous PTO financial support to the teachers. Thank you. <laughs> Krista Landwehr from CTA Liberty. Krista has been a lifesaver and an incredible volunteer who does not shy away from big projects. She creates the amazing bulletin boards displayed outside and inside the classrooms, makes sure they meet fire codes, that's important to Frank Fletcher over there, and fixes them when necessary. She's always lending a hand in the classroom as well. <laughs> Susan Orm couldn't be here, so next will be Nathan Rubin from Fry Elementary. Nate has no family connection to the school. He's volunteered at Fry for over 15 years. When asked why he chose Fry to volunteer, he explained that he had been, like so many of the other students, a child of immigrant parents who wanted a better life in a new place filled with opportunities. Students feel comfortable asking Nate for help, whether struggling or just needing affirmations. We thank you. <laughs> Kim Passage from Fulton Elementary. Kim is a Fulton parent and community business leader with a kind and generous heart. She serves the school community by leading PTO, volunteering at school events, and offering invaluable help to teachers. She has an all-hands-on-deck mentality with a smile on her face and a skip in her step. Karen Marin from Galveston Elementary. Now Karen volunteers in kindergarten, running copies for the whole grade level, getting homework ready for everyone, and helping kids in classrooms. She has even assisted office staff to catch up on paperwork. She comes in every afternoon willing to do whatever is needed to help that kindergarten classrooms run smoothly. <laughs> Marnie Jampolsky from Haley Elementary. Marnie is the PTO president at Haley, an important and demanding position that requires an enormous amount of time and responsibility. As president, she has introduced new ideas that have been well received by the community, and Marnie always responds to staff in a positive, friendly, and efficient manner. Jay Gennison from Hancock Elementary. Jay is a former teacher who lives in the Chandler community. She's been volunteering at Hancock for the past five years. Her passion for education motivates her to sacrifice her time to help students in any way she can. She helps with all sorts of classroom activities and always has a positive attitude. Karen Watts could not be here tonight, so next will be Scott Kohler from Hull Elementary. As PTO president, Scott's enthusiasm for providing fun student and community events and fundraisers is contagious. He started a Cash for Cow program, uh, which allowed the school to receive additional technology for the classrooms, and he always provides the advertisement and signs for every school event. Much appreciated. <laughs> Carmen Van Eden from Jacobson Elementary. 
Carmen is the glue that holds together the Jacobson workroom. She knows more about copying, laminating, binding, stapling, and stamping, and maintaining all the equipment than anyone else because she volunteers there for so many hours and hours at a time, often coaching other volunteers with a smile on how to use that doggone equipment. Hiromi Yampol from Knox Gifted. Hiromi has been involved at Knox Gifted Academy since her daughter started kindergarten in 2013. She is instrumental in Art Masterpiece as one of the co-leaders of this volunteer-run program. Hiromi has done the, this task beautifully and truly made Art Masterpiece a part of the KGA culture. Fantasia Cludas from Navarrete Elementary. Fantasia has been PTO president for the past three years. She spends countless hours recruiting, organizing, and networking, launching successful new events at schools like the Squawk Dash, seeking uh, sponsors for events in the lunchroom, working as a noon aide, teaching choreography, and blocking to the drama club. Thank you. <laughs> Helen Pappas from Patterson Elementary. Helen is a wonderful volunteer, working in the classroom with one student in particular. Her patience with a student, being kind-hearted and willingness to go the extra mile for this student have created a special bond, and the student is flourishing. Helen is truly making a difference in a student's life. Georgia Tasimras from uh, Riggs Elementary. Georgia, come on up. Georgia comes in each day with a positive attitude and is the one to help with anything. She spends endless hours volunteering, not only for her own children's teachers, but also going out of her way to make sure all teachers' needs are met. She can often be found on campus giving parents a warm welcome. <laughs> Heather Hale from Ryan Elementary. Now, Heather is one of those wonderful parents you can count on to volunteer year after year at almost every Ryan PTO event. Even after being on the board for two years, her drive to help hasn't diminished. You can see her volunteering all over campus and at school events all year long. Christy Tolman from Sanborn Elementary. Christy is a former Chandler High Science teacher and a volunteer extraordinaire. She helps every Friday in fourth grade by teaching science lessons for fun Friday little rotations. With Project Lead the Way, the Chandler Water Festival, teaching science lessons to first graders, and even painting life-size Kachina dolls. Thank you. <laughs> Trish Quintero from San Marcos Elementary. Trish has been a dedicated volunteer at San Marcos for six years. She serves on the site council and the PTO, always has a smile on her face, and is willing to help out wherever necessary. Because of her dedication, the students at San Marcos have been able to enjoy several special activities and events. <laughs> Emily Slater from Santan Elementary. Emily has been involved with Art Masterpiece, Junior Achievement, the Runathon, and School Carnival. She's also very involved with school fundraisers and decision making process as part of Santan's PTO for the last several years, always aimed at doing what's best for all the kids. <laughs> Cynthia Martinez, Shumway Leadership Academy. Cynthia has been a dedicated volunteer at Shumway Leadership Academy for more than seven years, helping as Art Masterpiece Coordinator, Ceramics Instructor, PTO Event Planning and Coordination, copying and even picking up and delivering water to school portables so students can stay hydrated in the hot summer months. <laughs> Doug Dexter from Tarwater Elementary. Integral part of Tarwater's Dad's Club, Doug has provided hours and hours of service, uh, laying pavers, assembling bookshelves in classrooms, building a lost and found cart, a stage platform, props for performances, computer tables for classrooms, and so much more. He's also even helped welcome and assist the Chinese teachers that moved in from China this year. <laughs> Ashley Majorick from Weinberg Elementary. 
Ashley also teaches art masterpiece and works countless hours in the copy room for the second grade team. Without even being asked, she checks in with the teachers before any major classroom event to see if they all have the needed supplies and volunteers to complete the activity, and has even run to the store a couple times on the day of an event to pick something up. Now for our secondary schools, Andrea Estrada from Anderson Junior High. Is Andrea here tonight? No, Andrea? Okay, let's move on with, you met him once before, it's deja vu, it's Greg Miller. Let me tell you about this. So he was recognized as the Hamilton student. He's also recognized by Bogle Junior High. <laughs> yeah. So think about this, Hamilton High School nominated him as a student and Bogle Junior High nominated him as a volunteer because he took it upon himself to organize a group of high school students to attend the homework hub at Bogle Junior High after school twice every week to assist current Bogle students with academic support focusing on math. The volunteers have added an important support mechanism into the fabric of Bogle Junior High and Greg made it all happen. Thank you, Greg. Heather Malloy from Payne Junior High. Heather wears many hats at Payne. PTO Booster President, she comes up with various fundraiser ideas and promotes them to ensure success, orders and maintains the inventory of Payne spirit gear to sell to sporting events, open house, etc. On top of all this, organizes and facilitates the Booster Club monthly meetings. Okay, we have Nicole Pyle and Jody Zavada from Santan Junior High. This is the leadership of Santan Junior High's uh, Booster Club. You've got the president and vice president. I believe Nicole's the president, is that correct? And Jody the vice president. They have uh, served at the school for two years and done an amazing job at organizing spirit wear sales, fundraisers including Harkins Cups, holiday wreaths, and two major checkathons, bringing in more than $10,000 to the school. Sharma Glenn from Willis Junior High. Sharma has played a significant role in supporting the Willis Junior High school community as a parent and volunteer, currently serving as the PTO president and does so much more to ensure that staff and students are supported. In addition to her investment of time, Sharma is a caring person who works hard to be sure that members of the parent and teaching community feel valued. Elizabeth Bishop couldn't be with us tonight, so next will be Adrian Keene from ACP Oakland. Adrian has volunteered at ACP for two years with the Booster Club and as a copy parent. This year is her third year at ACP and she is now serving as the Booster Club president. She helps with school dances, athletics, back to school night, and other ACP events. Kristen Elam from Basha Accelerated Middle School. Now besides being a substitute teacher, Kristen always offers to help in any way and treats students like her own. She donates her time and her money to ensure the students have a fantastic, memorable, and meaningful experience at Basha Accelerated Middle School. She does it all. <laughs> yes. Next is uh, Dr. Jeanette Camacho from Chandler Care Center. Dr. Camacho is a dedicated volunteer physician for the Children's Medical Clinic at the Chandler Care Center for the last 15 years. She's provided medical care and more to 2,200 uninsured Chandler youth in the Chandler Unified School District during her 10 years of volunteer. From treating chronic illnesses such as asthma to helping patients access vital medical care, her impact has been felt far and wide. We appreciate you. Joanne Wuthrich from Basha High School. Joanne has volunteered more than 100 hours of personal time to work with students in the academic decathlon program. She is knowledgeable, dedicated, and helps students achieve their full potential. She's done a lot through her time working with many different grading, uh, graduating classes and various teachers. Thank you. <laughs> Fernanda Torres from Castile High. 
Fernanda's sons attend Castile, and her husband works as one of the wrestling coaches, and she's the copy fairy. She's always willing to show flexibility by helping out in several different areas. She's appreciated by all the staff, both teachers and office staff, who feel their loads lighten with all the work she does in the office. We appreciate that. <laughs> Deb Hart from Chandler High School. Deb Hart is not here. Next, they see Tara Lockhart from Hamilton High. Come on up. Now, Tara goes above and beyond her responsibilities with the football teams as the PTO, or as the PTO, as the Booster Club president for football. She organizes fundraisers, meals before the game, parents who need help with transportation and carpooling, and any other needs that the football team, players, and parents may have. She also makes sure the boys are giving back to the community. That's really important. Um, gives back to the community by donating their time to various organizations. They don't just play football. They volunteer in our community when they're not playing. Thanks for leading that Hamilton football. Heather Brodigam from Perry High School. Now Heather is the volunteer badminton coach. Now you know what they did this year? They won the state championship. Her help is one of the reasons that players stayed involved in the program, developed their skills, and why many of the lower level athletes are not cut from the team. Heather's a positive member of the staff, works well with the athletes, serves as a good listener, and is a puma through and through. How about one more round of applause for all of our volunteer winners? You all mean so much to our schools. You help us spread a, a thin staff and help our students and staff in so many ways, and we appreciate it. Now, last but not least are our fantastic staff. Hope some of you can stay with us. Uh, the staff will line up, beginning with uh, Alana Job, and we'll move on to staff. And Alana Job, if you want to come on stage when you get up here, come on up. Here she is. Alana volunteers as the Student Lighthouse team sponsor. She organized and promoted the Daily Kindness Challenge and Patriot Day Assembly and created videos, bulletin boards, a Leader in Me school banner, and does classroom visits to teach the meaning of the seven habits. Jill Raj from Oxier Elementary. Jill shares valuable knowledge and skills and trainings to assist the growth of all staff, puts needs of others first, and is always willing to answer questions or provide feedback. She works hard to cultivate a positive school environment and leads children to do the same through the Campus Kindness Club. Samantha Carlson from Basha Elementary. Samantha is a Thinking Maps trainer who is always available for questions from staff, a positive and upbeat member of the School Journey 2025 team, and a team leader for her grade level. She pushes her colleagues to achieve with data analysis and what's best for students. Marissa Delcy from Bologna Elementary. Marissa sh shares her love of reading by supervising Battle of the Books meetings, promoting school-wide fun activities like the Pumpkin Character Contest and managing book fairs. A member of PTO, she tirelessly promotes school funding fundraising activities and volunteers for virtually everything. <laughs> Michelle Luster from Carlson Elementary. Michelle runs the United Way campaign for the school and does so very well, by the way. She also coordinates the campus postal workers and serves as first grade, first grade team lead. A champion for all kids, she regularly tutors kids after school and is always ready to lend a hand to students, parents, and staff. <laughs> Next is Paul Kunze from Conley Elementary. Paul has taught special education, fifth and sixth grades. He leads an extracurricular aviation club and has been in charge of safety patrol. He's a phenomenal sixth grade social studies teacher as well as one of the kindest people you'll ever meet. Paul, do you bring your drums tonight? You bring your drum set tonight? Okay. Paul's also an excellent drummer. Jacqueline Hensley from CTA Freedom. 
Jackie supports students, parents, teachers, and all, day, uh, all staff daily as part of the special education team. She deals with deadlines, administers assessment, and manages a full load of accommodation and individual educational plans, all with a smile. Carla Regner from CTA Goodman. Carla is the CTA Goodman Administrative Assistant. She interacts professionally and kindly with all students, staff, and parents. She's very knowledgeable in her position and always willing to help teachers in need of equipment and support. How neat is this? We have a principal, Luke Hickey from CTA Humphrey on board. Now Luke is like three administrators wrapped into one. He successfully brought CUSD's Elite Performance Academy into the CTA Humphrey campus, adding another elementary program as well as a junior high school program on his campus and created a welcoming environment for all. Congratulations, Luke. Tony Kyle from CTA Independence. Tony is an inspiring third grade teacher who actively engages her students, incorporates the seven habits of highly effective people, and instills a growth mindset in her students focused on both academics and character. Kim Hartwig from CTA Liberty. Kim is a teacher, coach, mentor, actress, and therapist extraordinaire who enables her students to embrace learning with confidence and competence. She inspires teammates and colleagues with her dedication, patience, and kindness. Deanna Jimenez from Elite Performance Academy. Deanna is a passionate and enthusiastic science teacher. She set up a new science lab this year at CTA Elite Performance, and she is a huge undertaking doing that and took a lot of time and effort. Deanna is a positive role model for all the students. Kim Baldenegro from Fry Elementary. Kim goes above and beyond to ensure her students feel confident, comfortable, and successful. She takes pride in being well-prepared so that her lessons are engaging and rigorous. Kim also attends almost all out-of-school events to support Fry students as well. <laughs> Leticia Paris from Fulton Elementary. Leticia is an exceptional kindergarten teacher and leader on campus taking on such responsibilities as Spanish Club, Fire Starters, the CEF, the old CEF 100% Awareness, which is now called Cash for Classrooms, Character Counts, and more. She is the first to sign up for special events like Holiday Happenings, Staff Follies, and Fulton Family Celebrations. <laughs> Sandy Koopman from Galveston Elementary. Besides Sandy's duties as a classroom paraprofessional, crossing guard, and working with small groups, she taps into her inner artist, creating sets for the talent show, classroom displays, and bulletin boards. She's the first to volunteer to stay late or come on weekends to unlock and lock up for community events. How about Amy Miller from Haley Elementary? Amy teaches resource students at Haley and is founder and director of the famous Haley Drama Club, putting on full-blown Disney musical annually with over 100 students singing and acting their hearts out, including students with needs. She's also instrumental in the school's Apex Fun Run and the Chandler Chamber of Commerce recognized her as the Educator of the Year in 2012. Congratulations, Amy. Or Donna Forlan from Hancock Elementary. Ordana has taught kindergarten and first grade for 29 years, and her experience shows that she mentors student teachers, works alongside with teachers as a literacy coach, or lends a hand to colleagues. Ordana's many leadership roles include RTI coordinator, social and kindness club, science committee, and team leader. <laughs> Yanai Garcia from Hartford Sylvia Encinas Elementary. 
Now Yanai wears many hats in her role as parent liaison. She creates an inclusive environment where staff can educate and empower parents. As a valued part of PTO, she also assists with organizing and executing many school events while raising money for the school. Martha Perez from, Fulton, from Hull Elementary. Now with Martha as the lead custodian, Hull has won the Clean School Award the last three years. She works exceptionally well and knows she must maintain a clean and safe environment for students, staff, and community. She holds herself to high standards and always works with her team to bring out their very best. <laughs> Michelle Yurku from Jacobson Elementary. Michelle continuously works to improve anything and everything around her, from PLCs to parent pickup. She leads by example and goes above and beyond to help anyone. An extremely talented teacher, she's also unanimously appreciated and respected. <laughs> Maria Gutierrez from Knox Gifted Academy. Now Maria is the first person to greet students and parents in the morning and the last person students and parents see after school, always smiling, positive, and upbeat. She often agrees to walk around on a, with a, in a sandwich board with an important school message where others might be embarrassed. She's, she doesn't mind carrying that. Staff say they could also use another Maria on campus, but the truth is, there's no one like her. <laughs> Joanne Terrell from Navarrete Elementary. Joanne has tremendous passion for science. Besides making sure students connect a concept with deep understanding, she developed a science club with STEM and design squad lessons, guest speakers, and unique off-campus experience. She also dedicates her time to science clap, camp, science fair night, family stargazing, and being a resource and advisor for the Hamilton International Science Engineering Fair. Brenda Beltran Bars from Patterson Elementary. As second grade teacher, Brenda makes sure substitutes have all materials needed for each lesson while teammates are sick and disseminates information to the team. She has a knack for knowing exactly what each child needs to be successful. And Brenda has, is described as making sure that veterans in the community are respected, helping to put on a fantastic Veterans Day event. Megan Ice from Riggs Elementary. <laughs> Megan has worked in many capacities at Riggs, including as a paraprofessional in classrooms and as a one-on-one -on -one aide working with children with special needs. A huge advocate for the children in her care, she is actively involved in their education and fosters great relationships with their families. <laughs> Carla. Palafox from uh, Ryan Elementary. <laughs> Carla has got, uh, coached students in Lego Robotics, Flag Team, Battle of the Books, and Silent Book Club. She's a leader in her profession as a member of the Super Q, Hope Street Foundation, and CEA site representative. She also assists with formula of assessment food drives for St. Vincent de Paul, volunteering at Feed Arts Serving Children, even making sure all sixth graders have their own library card. Jennifer Harley is coming off a knee surgery, so be real careful, Jennifer. We could come to you. Now, Jennifer comes, uh, wears many hats as a school administrative assistant at Sanborn, always goes above and beyond. When one of the office staff members was out for several months last year, Jennifer led the remaining staff members and not a beat skipped as the office ran short standard, short staffed. Her jokes and sense of humor bring a uh, smile to any face. Jennifer, thank you, and be very careful going back down those stairs, would you? <laughs> Making me nervous. <laughs> Maria Santiago from San Marcos Elementary. <laughs> the ultimate multitasker, Maria juggles her role while making sure all classes have coverage, subs have everything they need to be successful, school-wide translations are done, and every curveball in the office is caught. She is of tremendous help to new staff members, no matter the role they fill. Lisa Rittenhouse from Santan Elementary. 
Lisa is very accommodating to staff and always willing to lend a hand. She's done an excellent job with the Santana Elementary Choir and recently started a new drama club. Lisa creates fun opportunities for musical exploration, making sure students always receive the best music experience possible. Thank you, Lisa. Allison Lally from Shumway Leadership Academy. Allison is the administrative assistant and is extremely organized and helps keep things running smoothly across campus with a calm demeanor and willingness to help. A common phrase heard around Shumway is, just ask Allison as she seems to know the answer to any question. <laughs> Vanessa Bass from Tarwater Elementary. Vanessa has been a vital member of the staff for five years as special education clerk, noontime aide, paraeducator, and parent volunteer. She has a gentle way of working with students, showing them care and respect. Vanessa schedules IEP meetings with staff and parents, maintains student files, and assists the coordinator, but also lends a hand in the front office when they are short staffed, greeting all visitors with a warm smile. Carrie Rader from Weinberg Elementary. <laughs> Carrie goes out of her way to make people feel valued. She's passionate about all students and being a part of the school community by participating in many programs. Carrie helps with parent pickup every single day. She is the EL teacher for her grade level, serves on school committees, including Thinking Maps, RTI, Choir, and is a buddy teacher for a new member of the team. Thank you. Now to our secondary schools, Lisa Rathbun from Anderson Junior High. Lisa does an outstanding job working with students who need behavioral redirection. She is always available and willing to help before and after school as well as during lunch. With Lisa's guidance, students learn how to reflect on mistakes, improve their behavior, and grow to become the best person that they can be. Pat Burton from Bogle Junior High. Pat is the backbone of many day-to-day -day operations at Bogle, juggling a multitude of responsibilities that are critical to keeping the school functioning. She finds substitutes for teachers in a bind, supplies for those who need them, and gets the copiers fixed, all with a great sense of humor that keeps everyone loving to come to work to, at Bogle every single day. Andrea Gapen from Payne Junior High. Andrea is Payne's student services and athletic clerk. She handles student everyday concerns, athletics and transportation, to and from athletic events and school related trips. An amazing multitasker, she takes on any project with a positive attitude and a smile. Next is Kim Welsh from Santan Junior High. Now Kim is an amazing special education teacher who goes above and beyond to differentiate for the needs of her kids, academically, socially, and behaviorally. She pushes them to be the best student and person that they can be, and how to stay involved in the world around them. Denise Olivas from Willis Junior High. Denise consistently connects with students on a personal and academic level so they feel safe, valued, and comfortable. She, she is also a sponsor for Willis Junior High's National Junior Honor Society. As English Language Arts Department Head, Denise works tirelessly to make sure each grade level has meaningful lessons planned and resources needed. Congratulations. Brittany Michelson from ACP Erie Campus. Mother, friend, coordinator, advisor, coach, representative, liaison, department chair, teacher, and more. Brittany wears many hats and contributes to the ACP Erie community and CUSD with her enthusiasm and contagious smile, which is why students, parents, and teachers all adore her. Kim Codd from ACP Oakland. Kim embodies John Wooden's pyramid of success. She demonstrates excellent team spirit, has a genuine consideration of others, volunteers for various committees to benefit the school community, offers positive feedback, is enthusiastic and offers support and encouragement to everyone around her. 
Allison Ekrin from Basha Accelerated Middle School. Allison has taken one of the department head roles for Accelerated Middle School. She is dedicated co-advisor for the AMS Student Council and National Junior Honor Society and an incredible teacher. Additionally, Allison goes above and beyond her regular duties, taking kids to science clap, class and also camp and also bringing in speakers. Thank you, Allison. <laughs> Don't believe uh, Faint Nguyen is here, so next will be Zonia Armendariz from Chief Learning Hill. Chief Hill Learning Academy. Zonia comes to school daily with an infectious positive attitude and uh, provides massive amount of texts and notes daily to provide better assistance to students. Zonia gets to know the students as individuals, treating every one of them as a member of her own family. <laughs> Rachel Esmeyer is not here tonight, so next will be Joe Diet from uh, Basha High School. Joe puts forth every effort to make events and daily life at Basho run smoothly. He is reliable, honest, trustworthy, dependable, and always willing to lend a helping hand from finding and fixing desks to replacing ceiling vents, always with a smile on his face. Joe, we appreciate it. Got another administrator, Tom Dunn, Castile High School. Tom demonstrated his leadership by graciously stepping in to fill some mighty big shoes, working as interim principal in, Mr., uh, in Mrs. Lumberg's place. Uh, she's been ill. Staff can't begin to thank Tom enough for taking the lead, having an open door policy, having the hard decisions, discussions, leading with uh, ins and outs of being interim principal, all with an incredibly positive attitude. Tom, we appreciate it. <laughs> Jessica Peacock from Chandler High School. Jessica has taught special education at Chandler High for 15 years. A natural teacher and innovator, she works hard to challenge her students while showing compassion and making learning enjoyable. She has been instrumental in developing many programs to support and make a difference for all uh, district students with disabilities. Ed Hermansky from Hamilton High School. Students leave Ed's class with a deep appreciation of American history and a passion for learning. He makes history come alive with collected artifacts dating back to the American Revolution and welcomes veterans from different conflicts as class speakers. Ed is responsible for Hamilton's honorary diplomas for military veterans and a night of recognition and remembrance at each home football game. Christine Gonzalez from Perry High. Christine works positively and effectively to support all Perry staff, administration, and students each and every day. If it is possible, she'll get it done. She strives daily to meet and preserve everyone's educational technology and troubleshoots all problems with a contagious smile. Next is Katie Kale from the Chandler Care Center. Katie is the director of the Chandler Care Center. She coordinates doctors like the one we had, Dr. Camacho earlier, uh, dentists, social workers, volunteers who provide school readiness, attendance, and academic success by providing medical treatment, social services, parent education programs, and referral to families in needs. She also manages, you've probably seen some uh, stories about the big food banks and assistant events during Thanksgiving and the Christmas holiday season as well. And Katie makes it all happen. Emily Glenn from the Central Kitchen. Emily has been the kitchen manager for the dinner program at Boys and Girls Club for several years. This year she stepped up to provide assistance with menu planning, inventory, as well as subbing in the school cafeterias during lunchtime. All done with enthusiasm and eagerness to support the school cafeteria managers. Leonora Salgado from Community Education. Leonora has made sure she is knowledgeable about all the programs Community Education offers. So she's able to assist customers and provide them with the best experience. She takes the time not only to help parents as they come in, but to also make sure each child has a positive experience. Joanna Athey from the district office. 
Joanna wears many hats, including assisting registrars with directions and clarifications, providing support to secondary counselors regarding ECAP, and working uh, with the state to ensure that all submissions are done properly and efficiently. A real go-getter. She doesn't know the answer. She'll find it. And uh, Dr. Gilbert, what would you do without Joanna? Next is Emily Squire from the Melinda Romero Instructional Resource Center. Emily supports all Chandler schools in multiple roles as a teacher, parent, and coach. She digs into content to deliver meaningful, high-quality, and interactive professional development classes to teachers, striving to improve instruction with consideration of their needs and what is best for the students in the district. Osman Borja Duarte is next. They call him Ozzy. Ozzy has served on grounds crews and the sports crews, performing many different assignments, but always with a positive attitude. As crew leader for sports, he's proven to be well organized and willing to take on many last minute changes while motiva motivating the crew to work at a superior level of excellence. And I'll tell you what, when visiting teams and parents come to see our facilities, they're just, they're in awe and we appreciate Ozzy and all of our team. We have one more staff member, Stacy Stacy Penrose from the Ira King Transportation Yard. <laughs> Stacy puts forth a positive attitude, consistently jumping in to offer help to other drivers and often going out of her way to help whenever needed. She's friendly and readily shares her job knowledge with others. We mentioned her being patient. She had to be patient to be the last person recognized, and we appreciate you being here. Vicki Wamsley couldn't be here, and then say a prayer for Chuck Wood. He, his, he and his wife's dog is, uh, Chuck Wood is not here tonight from our warehouse. His dog is seriously ill tonight, and his, his wife and her are taking care of it. So say a prayer for Chuck and their dog that he does well. So, hey, one more round of applause for all of our staff first. That closes the recognition program. I want the kids to come and get balloons. Take the balloons home. Anybody take the balloons home, of course. They're going to be flat in the morning. We've got cookies for you to enjoy. Take some pictures. Enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs>